Hey, three keys to properly detoxify heavy metals. Why does this matter? You're gonna soon find out in just a minute. Hey, glad you're with us. We're gonna find out three keys to detoxifying heavy metals. Heavy metals are not something you want in your body. There is no biological reason for them to be in there. I know you get that already. I'm Jonathan Landsman, the creator of this channel. Hope you enjoy this information today. I am with a top expert when it comes to getting heavy metals out of the body, Dr. Chris Shade. Dr. Shade, thank you so much for being with me. Oh, I'm happy to be here and talking about what I love to talk about, which is detoxification and getting back to my roots, talking about mercury. And so mercury, whether it's from dental amalgams for, or from eating too much fish, is so disruptive to your biochemistry. It saps you of your energy at a mitochondrial level, at a thyroid level, and an adrenal level, and it saps you of your clarity in the brain where it creates anxieties and paranoias and, and poor cognitive cognitive thinking. And so how do we get it out of the body? And uh, at first, when I got into this business, I was looking at using these chemical chelators, and I saw that they were getting a lot of people worse. So I looked into how the body does this. How does it do this? Mercury's always been here. We have chemistry for it, and it's called the glutathione system. So if we look inside a, say, a cell, say we're in that cell, we got mercury in there, we want to get it out. First, you got to have high glutathione levels. Glutathione is something that you make that is an antioxidant, and it's something that you link on to toxins like glutathione and many other toxins, and you make what's called a conjugate. It's a linked pair that then are transported out through the cell into the blood, from the blood to the liver, liver to the bile flow, or through the kidneys. So you need to activate all the processes to get it out. So you need the glutathione, then you need this linking enzyme that is called glutathione S-transferase. It's a phase two detoxification protein, and it's gonna pull the metal off of a cellular protein and link glutathione onto it. All right, so that phase two, now we've got that conjugate. Now we gotta ship it out. Now it's where we need the transporters. Transmembrane transporters, they use ATP, so you need energy, and they use magnesium. This is one of the reasons we use magnesium. And they'll ship that from the blood, or from the cell out into the blood, from the blood into the liver, from the liver into the bile and the GI tract. So now we have to help that transport system. And if you go back to me lecturing about uh, the liver and bile flow, that's where the transport system is stimulated is when you stimulate bile flow. So going from the top, how do we take care of all these things? Glutathione, we usually use a liposomal glutathione, only the highest quality ones will work for this to get glutathione into the body, or you can work with precursors like N-acetylcysteine to build your glutathione pools. And then for the glutathione as transferase, the linkage, now we need something that's an NRF2 activator. This is a, a protein that goes into the nucleus and turns on all the genes for this detox process. The one that I use the most is R-lipoic acid. Alpha works not as well, but R-lipoic acid. Then some of the sulfur compounds like you find in the, in the mustard greens or uh, sulforaphane from, from broccoli sprout extract or wasabi, all of these work in this capacity. So then we've linked it together, but now we have to feed the transport down through the liver into the GI, and we need the binders in the GI so we don't reabsorb it. So now for the transporters, traditional bitters like uh, dandelion, gentian, myrrh, all of these stimulate the bile flow, as well as phosphatidylcholine, whether you're getting that from raw egg yolks or whether you're getting it from sunflower lecithin or if you're getting the purified phosphatidylcholine like we use. All that's gonna stimulate those transporters at a liver level, but that's also gonna stimulate them at a cell level. And then we got everything down to the GI, we have to bind it. And so we have IMD, our metal binding, 
uh, product. We also have Ultra Binder, which is more broad spectrum than just metals. And then other naturals that work for that would be chlorella. So we've got glutathione we've, uh, in a liposome or a precursor. We've got the lipoic acid or the sulfur compounds of regulating the linking. Then we're uh, helping bioflow with bitters and PC. And we have a binder at the end of that. If you do that, everything will start coming out. Did you get all that? You're going to want to play this over and over again to understand what Dr. Shade is really talking about. He's been obsessed with this for over 10 years, as you can tell. <laughs> but his whole push catch, right? That whole system of pushing, mobilizing, loosening up, getting these, this toxic debris loosened up and out of tissues, out of cells, and then we've got to make sure we've got the resources there, the substances that are there to catch this stuff, to get it out of the body is so important. And I know I said three keys to detoxify heavy metals. <laughs> just for those who are a little lost, just say what those one, two, and three are so that they know exactly what you were saying before. It's the glutathione levels, the transferase activity, the linking activity, and the transporters. Great. And one other thing I'm going to add to all of this, and before I get there, I would encourage all of you out there, if you're interested in what's going on with heavy metals, how should I get it out? Maybe you've got a great experience where you've already done this successfully. Post your comments down below. We'd love to hear from you. I've got lots of experts coming onto this channel to talk about things. Maybe you have something else you want to get into. Let us know in the comments down below. But I'm going to add one more thing now as we're getting into this a little bit more. And that is something that Dr. Shade has warned about for years. I've done a lot of programs with him. I've been talking a lot in my programs, almost 500 programs I've done in all these last few years alone, telling people that, look, we all know we got to get these heavy metals out of our cells, out of our body. But if you're constipated, in other words, you're not having a good bowel movement, at least, and I mean not to get too graphic, a large whole bowel movement every single morning, that means you're constipated. And I'm going to pass it off to Dr. Shade here because this is a big warning for you out there. If you're backing up like that and your colon, your intestines are not working properly and you push a little too crazy with some of these things that are designed to mobilize and push out toxic debris, you're going to have serious health consequences. I've personally experienced it. Dr. Shade has experienced it. And he works with a lot of healthcare providers. This is a big no-no. How serious is it if the colon's not working well and it's like blocked off? What does that do for our goals to get heavy metals out of our body? Yeah, remember you're trying to go sell blood, liver, GI out to the toilet and out to the toilet's not working. Then you go pass, pass, and then you're locked up. And at the worst, it then goes back in and starts moving back around. And so you don't want to shake things free from their tissue sites and not have them get all, all the way out. And the binder is part of that, but the fluidity of the GI is, this, is, is the last part, and it can block the whole process. And so we make sure we drink a lot of water, warm water better than cold for moving everything, a lot of fiber, and when you need to accelerate it and have more of a laxative effect, magnesium oxide and vitamin C are the two things that we titrate up until we have a good flow. And it's, it's more important to have more flow than less flow. When you're detoxing, the faster you get things out, the more success you have. Hey, I hope you've been listening this long. If you're listening to my words, I know you are. The bottom line is Dr. Shade and I both share in a really passionate message to you that getting these metals out really matter. You will experience a much greater, happier, healthier, stronger life by getting these metals out of your body. Remember what we said at the beginning, brain fog, chronic fatigue, irritability, a tendency towards being angry, agitated all the time, how this wreaks havoc on our entire nervous system, everything, physically, mentally, and emotionally, 
is just a mess when we are heavy metal toxic. Dr. Shade, I'll leave you with the last word. I know this matters a lot to you as well. Imagine if we could get more healthcare providers to understand how important this is to get metals and to detoxify in general, to turn more people on to this in their medical offices, all of their patients to really appreciate how important this is. What a different world we would literally have, right? It would be a totally different world. You'd have much less rate of chronic disease. All these pharmaceuticals you're using to sort of patch up all these different symptoms, they wouldn't be there anymore. The doctors would have more success with their patients. They're supposed to be there to help them feel better, not to fix it after it's been broken. And so if we can do these and get these successful detoxifications, we'll get that. So remember those three parts, the glutathione, the trans race and the transporters in our line that would be the glutathione uh, liposomal glutathione and our push catch liver detox you put that all together i guarantee you a safe and effective detoxification all right that's it for today we'll have more videos coming up really soon thanks for joining us we'll talk to you soon take care